we're going to be doing mindset management today. I'm going to give you what I call interruption technique. I'm going to step you through it. It's really, really simple and it's really, really great for strengthening your mindset. So wherever you're at, I've got you covered. If you notice sometimes you have difficult thoughts and your mind gets away on you. Sometimes the mind does that, right? The monkey mind runs right, comes up with all sorts of unhelpful thoughts that can cause you to feel stressed out, maybe a little bit anxious, a little bit worried. And that's just an everyday normal life, let alone what's going on in the world right now, which is really actually heightening the situation for a lot of people. So what we're noticing right now is that if you don't have strong mental stability, or you don't have strong mindset management techniques already in place, this can be an extra challenging time. And so I want to give you something that I teach. Um, I teach in private coaching. I teach it in my Master Your Mind program. I teach it in lots of different formats. It's a really simple technique, and we're going to go through it today. It's going to help you to deal with unwanted thoughts that come up and start to learn how to be a strong leader of your mind and it will allow you to strengthen your mindset so that your mind is working for you and not against you, okay? So hey to everyone. I can see you saying hey there and putting in messages. It's really nice to have you here. So we've got everyone on Instagram, YouTube and Facebook. So just ask me any questions. If you've got questions as we go through, I'll do my best to answer them. But we're just going to dive straight on in. So during normal everyday life, um, our minds do all sorts of things, right? They can run off in tangents that don't work for us. But during times of challenge, it's particularly heightened in the sense that our minds can end up saying to us, I don't know what's going to happen next. So I'm going to try to fill the gap of uncertainty with my own assumptions. I'm going to project what I think might happen. I'm going to potentially exaggerate the current situation into its worst case. I'm going to come up with all sorts of assumptions to fill the gap, to fill the void of not knowing, to fill the space of uncertainty. And it's really natural because as human beings we crave certainty and certainty makes us feel safe. And when we don't have certainty about what's going to happen tomorrow, about what's going to happen next week, about when the borders will reopen, about when lockdown will finish, about when the coronavirus situation will calm down and things will go back to normal. And so the mind doesn't like uncertainty. And so what happens is you drift. You drift to what if this happens, what if that happens, I don't know what's going to happen. And so it really doesn't serve us because... The future is completely undefined. We just All we know is the present moment. And the more we can stay in the present moment and manage our mindset in this moment, the more peace we can have in this moment. And guess where your personal power comes from? The present moment and your ability to have calm. When you are calm and peaceful in the present moment, you are really unstoppable. Okay, so for your mental, emotional and physical well-being, you want to be in the masterful person with your mind, a leader of your mind right now. And also, it allows you to be far more effective. So if you have to make decisions right now in your career, finances, business, or whatever, in your relationships, you need to be coming from a place of good mental strength and um, good emotional calm. And so if you want to navigate these times effectively, that's what's going to help you do that. So this technique will help you with all of that. So I'm going to give it to you now. It's four really simple steps, and then we'll talk through the steps in a little bit more detail, okay? So the first thing is with inter interruption technique, and again, this is to interrupt your mind going down paths that don't work for you, and to lovingly but strongly and firmly lead your mind in a direction that will work for you. The first thing you have to do is you have to notice that your mind is doing something that doesn't work for you. And the easiest way to know that your mind has run off on a, on a tangent that doesn't work for you is that you don't feel good. So if you're feeling stress, fear, anxiety, tension, doubt, um, agitation, frustration, upset, anger, anything at all that isn't either neutral, calm, peaceful, or positive, like good energy feelings, if you're not in those spaces and you're in some difficult feeling, it's a very good warning sign. Hello, what is going on in my mindset right now that's making me feel this way? Because even if it's something in your situation that's triggering you, to feel anxious or stressed, like the world situation right now. There are also certain things that are going on in your mind about that. The way your mind is interpreting every situation is giving rise to certain types of unsettled feelings, okay? And so with interruption technique, we just, step one, want to notice the thoughts. What thoughts am I having? And again, you'll know you're having difficult thoughts, firstly, because of how you feel. 
quite often we're just walking around with difficult thoughts in our minds and we don't even realize they're happening but what we do know is I don't feel good right so notice your feelings as the way to give you a gauge that you need to stop and pay attention then you just pause and you notice what are the thoughts I'm having oh well the thoughts I'm having is I'm not going to be able to get to see my family who live far away because of the lockdown and I can't go and see them or my thoughts are I've got a job for now but who knows what's going to happen and what if that job disappears or um, I'm really worried about someone I care about who's got compromised immunity and I really don't want them to get unwell and I can't do anything about it, it's stressing me out or whatever it is Right? Or I'm stuck in isolation with my people in my home and XYZ person is really annoying me right now. <laughs> right? So you notice what the thought is that's not working for you. And we're not about denying facts and we're not about plastering over the top of um, difficult situations at all. We just want to be effective. We want to be calm and effective in our lives. And so it doesn't help to let our minds marinate on, to chew on, and to feed on, and to exaggerate and blow out of proportion what's going on. And if you let your mind just do whatever it wants, it will go off on a little dance down a difficult path that doesn't work for you. So the first thing is notice the thought. Step one, notice the thought pattern that is causing you difficulty. Step two, you ask yourself this question. Is this thought true or not true? Is this thought true? true or not true. We're going to break that down in a little minute, but the next step, step three, is you then ask, is this thought helpful or not helpful? Is this thought helpful or not helpful? Okay, and then finally, step four, is you redirect your mind to a more truthful, accurate, or helpful thought. And that's where you get to be creative because you get to come up with a better feeling thought, which is a thought that makes you feel a little bit of relief. Just one inch to the side in a better direction. <laughs> okay, you don't have to leap from super negative thought to some kind of like inspiring positive thought. That's not what this is about. It's about saying I'm having an extremely difficult thought right now and it's making me feel very anxious, stressed or worried. How can I just lean a little bit towards a slightly more helpful thought, a slightly less triggering thought, okay? What would be a better thought that works for me in this moment, okay? Stay with us, YouTube. but just said there was an internet connection problem, so everyone else looks fine on Facebook and Insta. <laughs> um, so let's go through the steps, okay? And I'll give you an example because I'm not here for lockdown entertainment. I'm here to help you get practical advice that you're going to go away and use. I want to know you're using it because <laughs> you're only going to get strengthened mindset, strengthened mental well-being, strengthened mental and emotional stability, right? More personal power and greater capacity to be incredibly resilient in these times through practice. It does not matter if you listen to things and if you read things, that is interesting and it's knowledge and it's wisdom. But where it creates transformation in your life is through action. You've got to practice it. All I want you to do is commit to practicing it one time. Just one time, okay? And if you can just practice it one time, then notice. Notice how it feels and notice how you don't have to be victim to your mind. Okay. And by the way, side note, I always say this in my mind, mind mastery trainings before we go through the four steps in detail is that your mind is not naughty, your mind is not bad, your mind is not sabotaging, your mind is not some awful thing, then you've got a really bad mind and it's worse than other people's minds. No, just welcome to being human. Welcome to what it's like to be spirit, energy, essence, beautiful soul in a body with this machine thing that they call a mind that we don't get a manual for when we're growing up. Welcome to being human, okay? Hey Lisa, Jill and Jamie. Hey to all of you, Linda. Peace, Jill. Okay, awesome. It's great to have you all here. Hi, Denise. Okay, so let's go through it. One, you notice the thought. Okay, so I'm walking around. Maybe I'm doing the dishes. Maybe I'm noticing I'm clenching my teeth and I'm a bit stressed. What am I? What am I worried about? Okay, I'm feeling. I'm feeling the pressure of being at home all day with the children, and I don't know how to keep them entertained. And I'm feeling really worn down, and I'm a little bit exhausted, and I can't get. All, I can't do anything about the situation. Okay, so that's the thought. Now, is that we step two, true or not true? Here's really important. This is why we have true, not true, or helpful, not helpful. Step two, true or not true? True. I am exhausted, right? So I'm using an example. It's not me. I'm just using an example. 
True, I am exhausted. True, I am stuck at home. True, I am trying to homeschool children when I don't know how to homeschool and the children are very loud and everyone's at me and I'm exhausted. True. Helpful or not helpful? Step three, helpful or not helpful? No, definitely not helpful. This thought is not helpful. So while it's true, it's not helpful. Step four is what is a better feeling thought? What is a thought that is slightly leaning one inch in a better direction that will help me? Okay, it is what it is and I can't change it, but what I can do is change my attitude towards it. And I adore my children and I'm blessed to have them and there is a way for us to make the best of the situation and I'm willing to find the way. Done. Done. Instant, tiny moment of relief, tiny moment of personal power, gives you just the space to breathe, to reset and start again. That is interruption technique. Let's use a different example. Okay, I am trying to go to sleep and I notice that I am just agitated and I'm feeling like a lot of tension and I can't sleep. And I say to myself, what is it that I'm feeling and what is the thought behind it? I've got a thought process happening and I need to interrupt. It's not working for me. Okay, I'm feeling very anxious. Why? Because I don't know what's going to happen with my work. I don't know what's going to happen with my job. Okay, that's the thought. Now, say your thought goes to this scenario. I've got a job right now, but I don't know if I'm going to have one next month. Okay, I've got a job right now, but I don't know if I'm going to have one next month. I don't know what's going to happen with my employer. I don't know what's going to happen with my organization. All I know is that I, right now I have a job, but I don't know what's going to happen next month. And then mind goes, what if I lose my job? Then what will happen? How will I pay my bills? How will I take care of X, Y, Z? What am I going to do? Okay, and it starts to create a whole big pathway of difficult thoughts around that idea. Step two, after we notice the thought pattern, true or not true? Well, it's true that I have a job right now, and that's really all that's true. There's not any truth to I'm going to lose my job, I don't know that yet. Um, there's no truth to I might not have the ability to pay the rent because that's not happening yet. Where I stand right now, the only thing that is factually accurate and correct and proven and evidence in the real time moment is that I have an organization that I work for and I have a job. And beyond that, the future is not predictable. Nobody has a crystal ball. Yes, there are lots of possibilities and yes, we could use a lot of information to kind of guesstimate what's going to happen. But right now, what is true is I still have a job. So then we say, okay, true, not true. Well, it's not true that all of these things are happening. They're not happening right now. What's happening is I'm here, I'm in my bed, I'm safe and I have a job. Okay, helpful or not helpful? Is this thought process helpful, not helpful? No, it's not helpful. It's not helpful in any way. Okay, not helpful in any way. It's making me feel stressed out. It's making me feel worried. It's making me feel focused on the worst case scenario. It does not work for me. Okay, so redirect. Step four, redirect. What is a better feeling thought? I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I've got a roof over my head right now. I'm safe in my bed. I'm, I have a job right now. I'm one of the people that actually still has one. That's awesome. And I don't know what's going to come next. But you know what? Actually... Who can say that possibility won't come out of this? Who can say that maybe if I get bumped out of my, my work, I won't end up in some other place? You know, I was so inspired this morning. I witnessed somebody who um, has lost a very good career job. And that person was like, you know what? I feel like the universe is pushing me into a new direction. And I was like, check that out. Check out that, that power, that inspiration that hope, that faith, that resilience, that opening, not closing down, opening, opening up. Through chaos and crisis comes possibility. Yes, it's a very serious crisis, but so is your level of inspiration, possibility, hope, faith, and resilience. Do not be small. You are not small. Do not be afraid. You are more courageous, powerful, and resilient than you even know. Okay, I'm witnessing it with people who are going through very serious challenges right now, not just people who are unaffected. All types of people through all different types of situations now are being very, very strong. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to go away and practice this technique. Remember, notice the thought. What is the thought feeling process that's going on right now? This thought. Is it true, not true? Is it helpful, not helpful? And then redirect the thought to a better feeling thought. What is one slightly better perspective I could take that would work for me in this situation? Okay, what is one slightly better feeling thought that would work for me in my situation? Someone's just saying, I don't have my job now, but I trust I will have all I need. Perfect. 
thank you. Thank you for this example of what it looks like to choose to be resilient. Because you could choose to let your feelings take you over. I know that that is not an easy perspective to take. You have to be strong. We're talking about mental strength, mental hygiene, mental stability. We have to build it like a muscle. You don't get big guns in your, in your muscles. You don't get big biceps. Right, from going to the gym once or not going to the gym. You get the muscles from going over and over and over again and learning to build the muscle. The only way you're going to have strength, resilience, mindset stability, optimism and power is if you practice it over and over and over again. And it's very easy to go stuff this whole mindset strength thing. I feel terrible and I'm going to go over here and sit in my upset. And you are allowed to have your feelings and they're valid and you don't even want to deny them. And at the same time, not but, and at the same time, you can be strong and direct your mind in a way that will give you a little relief from the feelings and start to lovingly nurture and guide your mind in a direction that will work for you. Your mind is not naughty, it needs leadership, okay? You just have to lead it in a better direction. So I hope that that has been helpful for you all. It's been a pleasure to be here with you today. We're going to wrap it up right now and I'll come back online in a few days and give you more support. I know that some people are saying on um, YouTube that they've lost some sound, so I don't know what's going on with the YouTube platform right now. We're on a few different socials, but I will get another version uploaded for everyone on YouTube. Okay, my lovelies, um, take care. Share this with anyone that you know might find this useful. Anyone who's having really difficult thoughts and feelings at the moment, interruption technique, notice the thought, ask yourself, true or not true, helpful or not helpful, redirect your mind to a slightly better feeling thought process, okay, takes practice, sending big love to you all wherever you are in the world and we'll be in touch, remember you can reach me, support at thedailypositive.com if you need to reach out to me, big love, take care, stay well, take care of your loved ones, be kind to each other. <laughs> Okay team, I'll see you later. See you again really soon.